Today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set some default colors in Divi so that way you can have your colors uh, uniform across your whole site at the click of a button when building your pages. So I'm in the Divi Builder right now and I've got a page open. And you'll notice I've got a page here and I've got this same sort of like cool green limey, not quite lime, <laughs> green color here. Uh, not the best description, but you get the idea. And it's been easy for me to put that in because if I go into say this module here, go to design and image, the color is there, but it's also in my color picker throughout. It's a custom color here that is not normally included in the Divi colors. So the way that I've set that up is by setting my default colors. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna head back to my dashboard and we're gonna set those colors. And we're gonna just discard and exit. I scroll down the left to Divi and to theme options and click that. And straight away you can see here, color pickers default palette. So I've got some colors here. All I need to do, if I want to change this purple, I can click on that. I can turn that into a completely different color. So if I want to have a brown in there, I can do that. If I want to change this blue to, say, more of a charcoal color, I can do that, do that, come down here. And maybe I just want to get rid of all the warm colors in the spectrum. So maybe I'll choose a slightly different blue here. And maybe then I'll go into more of a, a deeper purple sort of color come up here and maybe the red I'll once again go for like a light gray or something so we've got a completely different palette of colors there all I need to do is save my changes it'll think about it now I head back out to my page enable the visual builder so now when I come down here to this little icon I go to my design again and now we have these different colors which is pretty cool I can make it this standard blue and I could put that I can even take that one color right click and I can extend blurb styles throughout this section and have the same color across the board so that's how you can set the color quickly and then extend it across the page pretty easily now one thing you might want to consider also is if I do have a particular color let's say I go into this background here and the background color I choose is not here so this is something else you can use if you find you're in a bit of a rush I pick a completely different color so we're going to go for a yellowy color a darker sort of goldy color simply because we removed most of those colors from that palette I click OK so now I have this color here it's not the best but you know it's there what if I want that color to be on say this button here, I can go into the settings, design, button, choose custom styles, and it's not here in my picker, but I do have recent. So now I can actually go through and I have my most recent colors, and I can click if I scroll down. The text is now that color. I can make it the yellow color. I can make the background, and once again, I go to recent, choose the gold color, and I can actually, ha actually have recent colors I can access as well. And you'll notice if you click on this, you'll get a whole array of similar colors as well, simply by clicking on the three dots below the picker. You've also got global colors where you can add colors in that way. So maybe I decide I want to add this color in. That's my global color. I now add another plus symbol. I can go into yellow again, click tick, and I have another global color, although I didn't actually follow through with that one. Tick, and I've got another color. So now I've got those global colors there. So I tick out. I go to another section, maybe this one here, go to design, again I go to button 2, customize that button, and if I go to global, I now have got two more global colors here that I can use. So we've got all these different colors, so save, which is from our options, global, which we've added through the actual builder, and then also our recent colors. So uh, you've got a few different ways you can actually sort of assemble and collect various colors for your website. So that's pretty cool. And of course, if you really need to, I'm gonna tab across for a second. This website is called imagecolorpicker.com. You can actually go in, upload your own image and pick colors from an image. So if you have a picture you wanna match that color exactly, you can hover over the section. Maybe I wanna get some of this rust color here. 
this red, bit difficult to get it exact, but boom, I click that color and it shows up here. I get this hex code, I can copy that code and tab back to Divi. And now if I go back to my global colors here and click plus, I can right click in this space and paste that color. So that's imagecolorpicker.com that you can use to pick colors from images if you really wanna get the exact hex code for that image. Now another tip to save you some time is to make sure you go into your theme customizer. We'll just discard and exit. And just make sure if you wanna save time, make sure you go into your general settings, set things up like uh, we've got your layout settings like your accent color. As you can see, I've already set this up to match my site. So a lot of areas get hit with that color, color automatically. Same if it's type with your typography. If you want your link color to be the same across the board or you want all your headers to be one of these custom colors from here, maybe the, the gray, you can set that up in there as well. And unless you change them in the design tab, they will be that way by default. Uh, same thing like with uh, buttons. You wanna go into your buttons, button style, set your custom colors, go through, go through that theme customizer and make sure you're setting the colors you want throughout that because then you don't have to assign them every single time you're adding them onto the page. So going to your theme customizer to set a lot of those colors once you've set them up is another way to save a ton of time and get that consistency across your entire site. So that's just, a, just a, a few quick tips on how to really nail down the colors in Divi so that way you get some consistency. I hope you found that useful. Of course, if you don't have the Divi theme, check out the link in the description below. You can get a copy of the Divi theme for your WordPress website. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and found something useful from it. Any questions, leave a comment. Otherwise, I hope to speak to you again soon. Have a great day.